Laura. Amy. Hi. I heard what happened. It's so awful. Oh, it's not so bad. I just wish Helena Cassadine would disappear. I mean, who does she think she is going and firing you in front of everybody? And that's not what happened. This just isn't fair. No, it's fine. Really, it's fine. I'm your sister. You can tell me how you really feel. I really, really feel like I'm okay. Well, how, how? I mean, what are you going to do with the rest of your life? What, what are you doing? You're packing. No. You're not moving out. No, I am not moving out. I am just moving on. Cigars. Cigars. Please confirm that even a skilled therapist cannot cure Lucky Spencer. Of course I mean on all levels of programming. Don't be dense. I expect an answer within the hour. Don't make any mistakes. Oh, Lucky, my darling. Not to worry. I'll always help you protect you. Are you sure you have time for this? Oh, man, well, you know what? I could you squeeze guys, you. Um, I think. We're sitting outside today, if that's okay. Oh, uh, okay. it's fine with me. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I've been inside all day. It's okay. Great. Just Here, sit down. Okay. Have a seat. Great. Sitting, um, uh, what do you want? Coffee or something? Sure, that'd be fine. A couple of coffees, then. Okay. Yeah. Okay, be right back. It's so beautiful out there, anyway, isn't yes. it? Yes. Yes, it is. It is a nice day. So, what's going on? Well... Hopefully, the rest of my life. <laughs> I need to make some kind of a change. And hopefully make a living at it at the same time. You've got to do something fun in life. That's the key to everything. Fun, fun. <laughs> fun job. I know. But seriously, I mean, if I'm going to stay in Port Charles, I really do have to make a living. And I would love it if I didn't have to work for somebody else, especially after what happened to me with Helena. No, no you don't want to work for somebody else. Believe you me, you want to be your own boss. Yeah. I did it once before. Luke and I ran the diner. I mean, not that I'm angling to take over Kelly's or anything like that. I mean, I think to be successful, you have to really love what you do. Just like you. You love the law. I mean, even though you complain about it a lot. Why don't you be a lawyer then? Hmm? Well, I know that you're persuasive and stubborn and <laughs> all the great lawyer qualities, you know? Yeah. Right. I think the last thing I need right now is... Another three years in school chasing after a law degree. I can't do that. I, I have to be able to just jump into something. My own project. You know anything about cosmetics? Luke? Hey, did you hear come in? You never say come in. Don't tell me you're going away again. You just got acquitted of murder. Isn't that enough for one year? Barbara, I still got two months left in the year. I mean, imagine the kind of trouble I could still get into. So what are you saying? You in trouble again? No, I'm just saying I'm going to be prepared. What? For the end of the world, Barbara. You're just going to have to trust me. I know what I'm doing. How many times have I heard that? Hopefully enough to know when to stop asking. Okay. Do me a favor. If Carly asked you for a job, would you tell her no? A job here? No, no, at Kelly's. Because so help me, Luke, if you give her a job, it will drive me crazy. All right, no job for my psycho niece. Thank you. I promise, no job for Carly. Come in. Hey, you see how that worked? He knocked, I said, come in. He came in. Hi. Good. Would you please tell me why he's heading out of town? Uh, you see, Deception has been out of business since Catherine Bell died, but we hold the patents and trademarks. I mean, it hasn't been in production for, you know, almost a year. Yeah, uh, but I don't think I could afford to buy a company as big as Deception. I could lend you the money. But wait a minute, you're going to be lending me the money to buy your company. Wait a minute, I, I, even I know that doesn't make sense. Sometimes I do things that don't make sense. But Scotty, what would I do with a cosmetics company? I mean, I don't have any experience in marketing. 
Lucy and I didn't know what we were doing when we used to... We were flying by the seat of our pants. I mean, we made a little mistake when we tried to go into this hair-growing tonics. It was a little... <laughs> I think it was more my idea, but it, it didn't work. But the perfume did. We made it work. So could you. Are you sure this isn't about letting go of something that you and Lucy shared? Lucy and I, we share Serena. And we shared a lot of years together and a whole bunch of other stuff. So one defunct perfume company isn't going to matter one way or the other, but it could matter to you. And I'm telling you, the perfume did sell, will sell again. Sky's the limit. <laughs> but what about Lucy's other company? Do you really want to set me up to be in competition with her? Well, I think it uh, might just be the thing to uh, get her going again. Yeah, I don't know about this. I, d I don't want to be the thing that's causing the trouble between the two of you. There is no trouble. Lucy and I are friends. We've been friends through everything. We always will. We will stay friends. And she will know that I'm doing this for you, not to hurt her. Really? Absolutely. Wow. Oh, my gosh. What would I do with a cosmetics company? Oh, my God. You know, there was that lady. You remember, um... It was an English woman, and she made her whole own line of products. They were uh, things from the rainforest. She did shampoos and moisturizers, and then it became a huge multinational company. No, I don't know who you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> but see, you got ideas. See, you're thinking already. That's good. That's good. That's what it takes. Do you really think that I could pull this off? You know, now I think about it. You got experience in this in this business. Since when? Well, okay. How about uh, Miss Star Eyes? Huh? Oh. Remember that? Oh, please don't make me remember that. Why you were good? Oh, come on! I was just playing at being a model. I mean, that's really a far cry from running a company. So you really think I can do this? I think you'd be great. <laughs> okay. Let me think about it. Okay, but I'm serious. I will lend you the money. No, no, no. If I take over Deception, I will find a way to finance it myself. I bet you will. <laughs> All right, listen, I got this pain in the neck client waiting for me, so I gotta go. Okay, okay. Right. thank you. Hey. Thank you for everything. Oh, my pleasure. Oh, that's okay. I... I'll catch you later. Okay. Bye. Bye. Where do I find a small fortune? Okay. If you're going to drag Roy into this, do I at least get a warning? Roy ain't going anywhere. And that's all I'm gonna say. Okay. Whatever you're doing, then, will you at least please be careful? Oh, yeah, sure. Hey, relax. No, it's not very reassuring. Relax. Well, I have to get to the hospital, so do me a favor, okay? If you decide to flee the country, would you leave me a message? You got a cookie. So, it's, uh, it's all about Helena. Do me a favor this time. If I don't come back... Don't come after me. No guarantees. I'm at Kelly's. Can you meet me? I'd like to discuss a project. My dear? <gasps> Hi. You look lovelier than an autumn afternoon. Ooh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that was, um... That was an intriguing phone call. Hmm? Well, I hope so. So? Tell me. Well, would you be interested in making me a very rich woman? You've been telling Nicholas all sorts of ugly lies. I won't have that. I've never lied to my brother. Oh, Lucky, must I remind you that I saved your life? That I rescued you from Faison, that I brought you home? No, you hired Faison. This whole thing was your idea. What whole thing? Kidnapping me. 
Hiring Faison to rewire my head to hate my parents. It's really pathetic, Helena. And you know what? It's over. Always protect your queen. Attention. Thanks. And I would love the chance to make you rich. Hmm? But uh, how do you propose that I do it? Deception Cosmetics. Scott Baldwin wants to sell it to me. Why would you want to take that loser off his hands? Look, you have to watch out for those attorneys every second, Laura. You mark my Scotty word. Scotty offered to loan me the money himself. Uh, to buy his own company? That's nonsense. If you want me to look at the fine print in your... That's uh, not necessary. It's really okay. I turned him down. I don't want favors. Well, I like your attitude. <laughs> but I do want the company. So that means that I'll need an investor. One with savvy and a proven track record and a lot of experience so that they could help me to bring deception to its fullest potential. And of course, my first and only choice is you. <laughs> well, I'm honored. Thank you. And, um... I do uh, admire your initiative. Thank you. You know, your talents were never fully realized married to that scoundrel. So, are you interested? Mm hmm, definitely. As long as there is uh, some small profit in it for me. Hmm? <laughs> oh, you couldn't have hung on for two more steps. There we go. No matter how defiant you are from time to time, you always remember your manners, don't you? Once I remind you to protect your queen. I've had enough. Oh, Lucky, we've been over this so many times. You know how it works. No. I know how you want it to work. We need to spend more time together. Why? Lucky, you've been influenced by people who don't understand our special bond. Now, this is over. No more. What did Faison do to me? Why did I change? A year in captivity would change anyone, Lucky. Why wasn't I glad to see my parents when you let me go? Why did I hit my father and run away from my mother? Now I'm responsible for years of bad parenting? Why did I reject Elizabeth? Because you outgrew the relationship, Lucky. It happens every day. No. Dreaming about Elizabeth is what kept me alive a year. I love her. I never wanted to push her away. But Nicholas can make her happy, Lucky. You never will. Why do you keep saying that? Can't you see how much it hurts, Nicholas? I hate to see you so confused. You know I would never hurt Nicholas. Then why do you keep reminding him of something he'll never have? I saved you from Cesar Faison, Lucky. No. You took a chance at controlling my mind. It's over. You lost. I won't be discarded quite so easily as that. From now on, you just stay away from me. From Nicholas, and you stay away from Elizabeth. Well, independence certainly agrees with you, but uh, buying deception is a very big step. I know, but I'm looking for a challenge. I want to go where I haven't been before. I, I want to find out who I am without Luke Spencer. Do you have any idea how volatile the cosmetics market is? I'm tougher than I look. So was Catherine Bell. You prepared to be as competitive as she was, as, uh, as cutthroat? In business, yes. Do you have any experience in this field at all? No. 
but I'll hire the people who do. Look, I want to bring deception into the new millennium. Now, now listen, I'll keep the glamour, okay? But I want to go after real women with real lives, you know? Why shouldn't a woman feel beautiful when she's late for carpool, when she's <laughs> cheering on her daughter at the basketball match? That's the woman who I want to buy my cosmetics. So, um... What kind of numbers are we looking at? Okay. Um, preliminary, but uh, pretty good pretty good guess, huh? <laughs> there we go. Oh, that's a fair price. In fact, it's an excellent price. Oh, good. See? We're, we're working well together already. <laughs> and, of course, I'd pay you back at the current interest rate plus 5% of the profit. 5%, hmm? Yes, yes, of course. I mean, you're bringing a lifetime of experience to my company, not to mention vastly superior business acumen. I, I do expect to pay for that. Oh, okay. hello, dear. Hi, hi. You guys haven't seen Lucky, have you? Not today. Maybe he's inside. Are you okay? Yeah, we just keep missing each other. So how's your grandmother? Oh, she's doing much better. Mm. Thank you. Are you sure you're okay, Elizabeth? Yeah, um... You know, I'll find him. I always do. I'm sorry to interrupt you guys. See you later. If you need to go check on your son, we can do this another time. No, 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 no. My son is all grown up now. <laughs> He's creating a life for himself, and so am I. I can run this company. I just need a backer. Well, I would be honored to help. Of course, my uh, percentage will need to be increased upward slightly. Okay. What sounds fair to you? Mm -hmm. A six comes to mind. Six percent? I can live with that. I mean a six in front of the five. Sixty-five percent? You want sixty-five percent of the profit? How do you think I got rich? Forget it. He offers off the table. No, wait, 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 wait. Don't be so impulsive. I'll give you time to reconsider. You know what? That's just not necessary. My resources are virtually limitless. And I do bring, a, how did you phrase it, a, a vastly superior business acumen. Did you think that I was serious when I said 5%? You know, I was prepared to negotiate up to 45%. I'm still listening. Too late. No partner of mine is going to rob me blind while pretending to help me. Really nice seeing you again. 